Sabbath morning, rise and shine, hit the block, make it hot, shake them down, we go at it till about four, five o'clock, warfare, got my gear, I'm prepared for the op, and we talk it, how we walk it, yeah, that's just how we rock, Friday night, got a rest, in the morning, hit the block, shake them down, we go at it till about four, five o'clock, warfare, got my gear, I'm prepared yeah, for yeah. the op, and we talk it, how we walk it, yeah, uh. that's just how we rock. All praise to the Most High, because what we need, especially in Columbus, Georgia, yeah. is marriage before the kids, though. Because watch this, read that. The book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 16. And if a man entice a maid, so the baby father enticed the baby mother, right? That is not betrothed uh -huh. and love with her. That's why we going to the shower now, because they lied together. Read. <laughs> He shall surely endow her to be his wife. The marriage is supposed to come before the sex, but this law was put in place because black people wasn't doing that. Right. Now, how often do you see that in Columbus, Georgia? You don't see that too often. What, getting married before having yeah. the kids, right? Yeah. Now, do you know baby shower is not even our customs? Right. Get Colossians chapter 2, verse 8. The same people that gave you cigarettes, <laughs> yeah, they the same ones that gave you the baby shower. Cause you know what the, go, what you got? One of y'all put me on blast with the cigarette. It was him. Oh no, 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 that was me. Yeah. And like one of my brothers brought up, it's good, it's a good thing we did because you smoking at the pump, you could have killed us all. Yeah, you're right. That you could have blown this out. whole thing up. I was putting it out. And guess what, mama? You an example for all them little young daughters that hopped out the car. That's right. You don't want them to lungs get all messed up. Right. right. Read that. The book of Colossians, chapter 2, verse 8. Be well, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. Philosophies and vain deceit, lies. Because you know what happened at the baby shower? You put the woman in the chair and everybody come around her offering her gifts, right? Now, that ain't biblical. That's not godly. What we need to do is get back to our godly customs, our Israelite customs. I got one more for you before you leave, because I see you doing the back pedal. Do the Romans 22 and 5. One more. Come on, come on, son. One more for you. Because are you a, uh, you a daughter of God? The Bible has a dress code for God's daughters. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertain unto a man. God said you ain't supposed to be smoking cigarettes. You ain't supposed to be going to no baby shower. And you for damn sure ain't supposed to be in no pants, sister. Come on now. I don't like wearing dresses. But God said you got to, so it ain't about what you like, my sister. You understand? So make sure you re uh, check out that flyer, look at our website, and come join us. We need more godly women in our congregation That's right. to repent and be an example. Get Titus chapter 2. Come on, son. You be blessed too, sister, once you put that cigarette out. Hey, my brother in the orange, come on over here. I see you smiling. Come on over here and deal with us, brother. We are here to teach our people, God's people, who they are according to the Bible. That you are the children of Israel. No matter what that white man told you. Read. That the aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior and becoming so holiness. With smoking cigarettes isn't behavior as becoming holiness. Who taught us that? Who gave us that? Tell them pull up. Tell them pull up. Officer, tell them pull up. Yeah, we are here for y'all. Read that again. That the aged woman, likewise, that they be in behavior and becoming holiness. Not false accusers. Not false accusers, not liars like y'all be doing on social media. Not giving too much wine. Not getting drunk out here at the little lounge. How y'all doing? Run the window down so I can talk to you. What y'all out here doing today? What y'all got going on? Just chilling, cooling? All right, Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. You know what today is in the Bible? Y'all Christians, y'all love God. Okay, so y'all okay with the Bible, right? Y'all okay if we read some scriptures? All right, cool. Y'all need, need more leaders for the youth. Y'all need, you, you for certain we need more leaders for the youth. But let me ask you something. 
Does leadership start in the streets or do it start in the house? Where it started? Watch this. Deuteronomy 6 and 5. Let's start there. Because most of the youngins running these streets wish they had fathers like you, my brother. Because in the household, who the one that's supposed to be the leader? The man, right? But how often do we see that the opposite? We got a whole bunch of big mamas running the neighborhood. We got a bunch of, and guess what? They never stop. You got grays in your beard. They still telling you what to do, where to be, and what time to be there. That ain't how it's supposed to be, but let's deal with the kids first, right? Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 5. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. Uh -huh. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. Read. And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. Do what? Thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. So we can't have the iPad, the YouTube, the music video, the social media teaching our children. That's right. Because what is it teaching them? I'm going to see if y'all pay attention. What's social media teaching our children, brother? Everything is wrong. Everything that's wrong. How to be killers, how to be drillers, how to be drug dealers, right? But what are you teaching them to combat that? Exactly. Exactly. So the leadership don't start when we get the mic and the speaker and now we the leaders. Nah, the leadership start when you wake up in the morning and you do what? Reverse 7 again? And thou shalt teach them diligently. You know what diligently means? It means over and over and over and over and over again. That's right. It takes effort to raise children. Right. It takes effort to be in their life. Right. It takes effort to deter them and to discipline them according to the Bible. That's right. But guess what? It, it get hard. It get difficult. You just be like, you know what? It be all right. And we let the cops discipline our children. We let the Justice Department, the DA, the district attorney, the warden, the probation system discipline our children. Right. And then when they get in 25 to life, we in the court crying like, why you do that? Because y'all didn't do your job. Right. We didn't do our job. Right. Right. And shall talk of them when thou sittest in that house, uh -huh. and when thou walkest by the way, uh -huh. and when thou lies down. And when that rises up, 24-7, they're supposed to be knowing that we the children of Israel. Right. Because guess what? When this happened, this is when the breakup of the black household began. Well, actually, the women been bugging since the beginning. But here we go. Here we go. When we got to this side, this is when the beginning of the, uh, the destruction of the black household began. Right. They would take the black man, do this to him in front of the black woman. Right. In front of his kids. Right. So now, she no longer respects you. She respects him. Right. And guess what? That never changed. That's why her boss can tell her to go get a cup of coffee, two sugars, two creams, and you better have it in my desk in five minutes. And she... Yes, sir, yes, sir, boss. But you say you want a sandwich, you go make your own damn sandwich. That's right. Oh, I, I, I must have hit a nerve. He said, was you in the house this morning? Oh, yeah. Guess what? It's all by design. That's right. Y'all married? Well, that's the problem. Hebrews 13 and 4. Because remember, where does leadership start, brother? In the house. So if you don't take ownership of that woman, guess what? She got one foot in and one foot out. Because guess what you got? You got one foot in and one foot out. Read the Bible. The book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. What is honorable? Marriage is honorable in all. Long-time girlfriend. Marriage is honorable. Side piece. Marriage is honorable. Wifey. Marriage. We just be cooling. Marriage uh -huh. is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable in all. Who talk about marriage most in y'all relationship? Who talk about it at all? You do. Now you got to you got to think about that. You uh, you I'm not gonna say you own a pistol. Uh, whatever you own, you got some paperwork on it, right? Your cell phone, your car, your house, your 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 firearm, right? Everything you own and love, you got paperwork on, except that woman right there. Right. So what you're showing her is she's not honorable enough. So when you want that sandwich, she's like, huh, 
nigga. Am I honorable enough to make you a sandwich? You honorable enough to lay with me, but you ain't honorable enough to stay with me. Right. No. Read it again. Marriage is honorable in all Read. and the bad undefiled. So what two married people do in the bed according to the laws of God, it is okay. That's Why? Right. Because God sanctioned that thing. That's right. But a lot of the disagreements, a lot of the disrespect, a lot of the uh, bumping of the heads comes from the fact that y'all not married. Right. Gotta let it marinate. Read. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. With STD, with child support, with uh, with uh, you dealing with him, him, and him, and now they fighting and shooting at each other. Marriage is needed in our communities. That's right. Do you agree? Is, is marriage needed in our communities? Because that will provide a stable household for these young thugs running around here. Right. Most of the time, it's just the mama. And can the mama raise men for real? No. But a lot of them had had no choice. Why? Because us as men, we not in our leadership position. Get 1 Corinthians chapter 11. But when y'all do get married, because I got hope. I got hope. You love her? You love him? What time? Hey, also or not? What time the courthouse open on uh, Monday? 8 a.m. Then y'all should be there at 7:30. Take it. Seven seventeen. Hey, come on, man! Come on, man! What's going on, Reggie? How you doing, man? How you doing? How you doing? He said we're gonna be there at 7:15. Because you, how 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 you feel about that? Now, what's the problem? Now, what's wrong? He ready to be a man. He ready to step up. What's the problem? Uh, you know what it is? First Corinthians 11. Watch this. How you doing, my brother? You married? Wife? Oh, single? Good. This for you for when you do get married. Because there's a lot of brothers who women running all over them, and that ain't godly. Read. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you to know that the head of every man is Christ. So the head of every Israelite man who you see on this sign is Christ, the black Messiah, not this white man right here. This is the devil the Bible speaks of. That's right. This is the reason why our communities look the way they look. Right. But we got churches on every single corner. Right. Because we don't know and identify that Christ is a black man according to the Bible. That's right. But read it again. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Read. Do you agree with that? The head of the black man is Christ. The head of the Israelite man is Christ. Okay, good. Read. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of who is who? The head of the woman is the man. So you ready for that? Monday morning, 7, 15 a.m.? You ready for him to rule over you as your Lord? That's what I'm talking about right there. That's godly. That's honorable in the sight of God. That's right. And guess what? All your family members going to be like, what? You did what? Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy. About time. You're going to hear a lot about time. How long y'all been together? A year? Okay, good, good. Still fresh. So y'all still proving each other. Y'all still getting to know each other. That's good. That's good. How y'all meet? Where y'all meet at? Oh, brother, 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 don't go nowhere. Brother, brother, don't go nowhere. I got to talk to you, too. At work? Okay. Y'all was both single? Wasn't no work husband, work wife? I'll praise the most high. Good, good. So, verse 72. My wife can't come out the house without no clothes on. Bring it out. You got to enforce that. Because they be wanting to do what they want to do. Bring it out. He as your Lord, as your protection, he going to tell you, put some clothes on. Right. And the, the old you going to want to be like, Ugh. but nah, that's your husband. He running the show. Based off of God's laws. Watch this. First Timothy, chapter two, verse nine. In like matter, also that the woman adorned herself in modest apparel. Modest means not gaining sexual attention. When you get married, do you want your wife walking down the aisle in a bikini? Why not? Everybody's gonna look at her. Well, wait a damn minute. So what's the what's the difference from when she at the club with her skirt up this high? Or when she at the beach in a bikini, we crazy as a people. 
I don't want her doing it when we married, but when we go to Miami, it's okay. No, God said it's not okay. You're supposed to be covered up. That's supposed to be for your husband eyes only. You agree? Read again. In like manner also that the woman adorned himself in modest apparel uh -huh. with shamefacedness. Shamefacedness means when there's a certain level of submission that right. comes with that dress code. Right. So you know what it is to submit. Do you know what it is to be submitted to? You don't? I know. That's the black man's plight. Right. We, yo, look, when I got married, I had to learn how to be respected. Because we don't know, all we know is toxic this and situationship that and you know, all right, I'm not gonna talk to you for a week and a half. You can't run no marriage like that. You can't be emotional. You gotta do everything biblical. Read it again. In like manner also that the woman adorned themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. And sobriety. Y'all be getting high out here? A little bit? You don't, you don't partake in your final pills now? You used to? You quit? My man. The body of temple. Y'all be getting drunk? Y'all be off the, be off the yak? You get the yak in? The Bible says everything in moderation. Wine is good of life to a man if it be done in moderation. So it's okay to drink, to be married, but what we be seeing out here in Columbus, y'all be staggering down the damn street at 12 in the afternoon. Right. You drunk right now? You be drinking? Oh, all praise the most high. Why? Because you realize, damn, I'm killing myself. Right. Maybe the laws of God work. Right. With sobriety, come on. With sobriety, uh -huh. not with braided hair or gold, or pearls, or costly array. It's not saying that you can't look beautiful with your braids and your jewelry and all of that. It's saying, like on social media, that's not all you about. Because for some women, is that all they about? How they look, right? But on the inside, they be ugly as hell. Boy. Read. But which become a woman professing godliness with good works, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection, subjection, but I suffer not a woman to teach. So the Bible says that the woman learn in silence. Right. You're going to have to learn that man in silence. Right. She nod her head, my brother. What, what, what's that face mean? What that face mean? She be, she be, she be doing that sometimes. A little bit. It's cool, right? It's probably because you ain't married to her. Right up. Learning. You learning? She learning? Both learning. Y'all both need to come to the congregation. That's That's right. Y'all both need to come learn what it looks like, what a righteous marriage looks like. <laughs>